Hello students, welcome to Softsys classes. Today we'll be solving the NBHM PhD scholarship exam questions from the January 2018 paper. Today we'll be solving a question which came in the section 1 algebra portion of the paper. The question that we'll be solving today is that if G is a group then which of the following statements are true? Option A the normalizer of a subgroup of G is a normal subgroup of G. Option B the center of G is a normal subgroup of G. Option C if H is a normal subgroup of G and is of order 2 then H is contained in the center of G. So we have been told that G is a group and we are, to, we are considering statements regarding the normalizer center and a normal subgroup of G. So let's proceed with the question. Now the question is that let's start off with option A for option A option A so for what for this uh, option what we'll try to do we'll take the example of H which we took in the third question from section 1 algebra we'll take the earlier example earlier question that came so in that question it was said that H is a subgroup H is a subgroup which is generated by which is generated by 1 2 in S3 we'll take this example okay this is the example that we'll take so if this is the thing then for G which is equal to 13 and belongs to S3 g of 12 into g inverse does not belong to the normalizer h of h so this is the if this is satisfied that it this implies that for this h that for this h for this h normalizer normalizer is not a normal subgroup of g is not a normal subgroup of G let me repeat this once more so we've been said that the normalizer of a subgroup of G is a normal subgroup of A we have to check whether this statement is true or false so what we have assumed um, we have taken the example from the previous question where it was said that H is a subgroup generated by 1 2 in and S3 now if G is equal to 1 3 which belongs to S3 for sure then we can see that G of 12 into G inverse is does not belong to the normalizer NH of H now if this does not belong to the normalizer NH of H then we can definitely say that for this H the normalizer is not a normal subgroup of G so this implies that option A is false now let us shift our focus to the second option. In the second option, it was it is said that in the second option it is said that the center of G is a normal subgroup subgroup of G. This is by definition this statement is correct. By definition, or if we use a trivial solution, trivial solution, then we can say that option B is true which states that the center the center of G is a normal subgroup is a normal subgroup of G so option B is true now let us shift our focus to option C in option C it has been said that if H is a normal subgroup of G and is of order 2 then H is contained in the center of G we will proceed with this option let me use the space below we will start off with option for option C now for option C since we have been told that H is a normal subgroup of G so we will take that let we have been given that H not it is not assumption it is a statement that H is a normal 
subgroup subgroup of G and the order is equal to 2 so if H is a normal subgroup and, and the order is equal to 2 then we can take that then we can take that H is equal to the set EA suppose and as H is normal then we can say that for any G which belongs to the group capital G G A of G inverse belongs to H so that will imply that if G A G inverse is equal to E so that implies that A is equal to E but this is not possible but this is not possible since the order is equal to 2 ok so therefore we have to write therefore G A G inverse is equal to A for all small g which belongs to the group G and if this statement is correct and if this statement as we have found out is correct that means that A belongs to the center of the group which is denoted by ZG center of group G so the statement that if H is a normal subgroup of G and is of order 2 then H is contained in the center of G is true so therefore option option C is true so we have found out is that in this question the correct options are correct options are option A is false so it is neglected option B is correct and option C is correct so option B is one correct option and option C is also the other correct option so these are the correct options so today we have solved algebra question which came in the NBHM 2018 paper will be solving many such questions in the subsequent videos till then keep watching soft classes videos for more solutions and content thank you very much